Hey everybody, it's Gumpla Melly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit of a different kind of video. Well, somewhat similar. It's actually not Gumpla, it's Gundam figures. I know, I am dabbling my fingers into something different. Now, these were sent to me by Bandai, so thank you so much. This is not a paid or nothing like that kind of video, not a sponsored, but I just thought it would be cool kind of show you guys the new options that are on the market. I think these have been out for just a little bit and I got here the Burning Gundam, Gundam Exia, and of course Gundam Wing. I didn't get Gundam Granddaddy, but what's pretty cool is what I'm noticing about these things is that aside from the price point, which I will get into in a little bit, is that you have to collect all five and you get a free Zaku. That is pretty cool. Now off the bat, looking at the packaging, I actually really like the package. You get a image of the figure or image of the Gundam in the back. So that's kind of pretty cool. And they, as you can see there, and there's also more information on the back and you can be swapping out different parts. So get this to focus. So this is what the back looks like, gives you a little bit of information. And yeah, you can like kind of create your own Gundam, which is really cool. Now, I don't know if this is a remake. I had action figures just like this when I was a child. And I actually had the, not Burning, but I had the, well, I think Burning is God Gundam. But it's just, they switched the name here. I had the all gold version. So I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can find a picture of it and I'll put it somewhere in here. Um, of Gundam, Gundam action figures I had as a child, like they were actually being sold at Walmart, which is really interesting. And now for the price point of these little guys, they tend to range, I've seen them anywhere from like 10 to like 15, 16 dollars, which is really freaking, I mean, it's not like five dollars cheap, but that price point is very affordable. Like if you can't afford those really expensive Gundam figures, they range from like 50 dollars and up. I'll put a picture here. There, I think they're like Tamashii Nation, so I don't think Figma makes them, but they're extremely expensive figures. Now, mind you, obviously, they're not gonna look like this. They're gonna look way more detailed and probably way more hefty than how these feel. But if you just wanna get something to play with for a kid or even yourself, obviously these would fit more that category than a you know $50, $60, $70 collectible that you would just put in a display case. So, all right, let's get into opening up these little cuties. Now, in terms of accessories, unfortunately, you don't get a lot with this guy. You get his extra pair of hand and an extra chest piece, and that is it. No beam savers, nothing. This is literally all you get. And again, this is only like a $12 action figure, so not a lot to complain about that in terms of the price point because, you know, he is fairly cheap. Now let's take a look at the articulation of this guy. All right, so starting off with the head, he can look up about that far, down about that far, and he can do a full 360 all the way around. For the shoulder, this can go up and down. Um, and um, okay, here we go. These ball joints kind of suck. Things pop off a lot. So for the shoulder, you can kind of push it back a little bit like that and forward a little bit like that. You can also do a bend here at the elbow joint, about 90 degrees. And there is unfortunately up in there, there is no, how do I call it? There's no, it's one solid piece, you know, cause sometimes you can like swivel right here. It's on a joint that is not a joint. So no articulation right there. And then the hand, you can do a full 360. And unfortunately right here, these are attached. So there's no articulation in that, but you can pop off this armor right here. And because you guys saw, this is a ball joint right there that it's attached to. The arm can really come out, not not a lot, is what I'm trying to say. So you can see that's pretty much all the articulation, but it can go up and back a little bit, but the um, you know backpack does kind of obstruct that a little bit. And I almost forgot for the waist, you can do pretty much, well, he could do a full 360 if it weren't for the backpack, but Yep, he is articulated there because of the ball joint and no ab crunch, obviously, because that would probably make this guy pretty flimsy. Now for the skirt armor, this is all fixed, but it is kind of like this soft rubber material. It's kind of hard to explain. I mean, overall, this plastic is very soft, like you can bend. Um, it just feels soft, so it won't hinder too much the movement of the leg, as you can see here. 
you know, because it can just kind of squish it upwards. So for the leg, because of that, he is able to kind of kick it all the way out like this. And there's also movement to the back. The knee, you can do another about a 90 degree bend just like the arm. And for the ankle, you get a little bit right to left and up and down. Now for the backpack here, you can pop this off as you guys saw. It is detachable. And the little wings here are individually articulated, so that's pretty nice. And that is it in terms of the articulation of this little action figure. Now with him, you can swap out the chest piece. This little part comes off and you can put on this one. Oops, it goes inserted just like that. And now he's ready. Okay, well that was a nightmare of five minutes of fighting with this, but here he is. This is all put together. First off the off the bat, um, the head looks like it's super tiny. I don't know if the proportion is off. You guys let me know, but I feel like the head looks kind of way too small. Um, also here, you can see that there, there's no gap through this, so that kind of looks a little weird, but you know, I'll give him credit. Here you can see it's like a little bit of somewhat kind of like a clear effect, but it's not really clear. And in here as well. So okay, little details here and there. Not bad, not bad. Um, again, $12 action figure. Can't expect too much. All right, so accessories, you get two things. Not, not terrible. I'd say this is better than the last one we just looked at. So, you know, oh, and it's articulated. Oh, well, that's a surprise. I was not expecting that. So that's a plus. Okay. Okay, Bandai. I see you. And the shield. Honestly, I would have loved these action figures gr growing up because I was all about these action figures and, well, not these, obviously, but playing with them. And these, if you're a kid, these would be so much fun to play with, I think. Anyways, let's take a look at the articulation all right so starting off with the head you can look up barely and down i mean literally it's like not even a centimeter of movement so yeah not a lot of articulation he can do a full 360 all the way around now the shoulders can move up just a tad and forward and backwards for the arm, just like the last one, it's on a ball joint, so you can't really, you know, extend it outwards very much. Um, but the elbow is articulated, you have a 90 degree bend. And of course, the hand is on a ball joint, so you can do a full 360. For the waist, um, as you guys can, as you guys saw, you can do a 360 all the way around because it's on the ball joint. No ab crunch. Now, this guy has barely any skirt armor, um, but this is all fixed. And that kind of soft material same for the back no articulation at that the leg can come forward not as much as the other one because the skirt armor right here obstructs the articulation so that's as, about as far of a forward movement your forward movement you're gonna get on this guy now he does have articulation at the knee about a 90 degree bend and the feet also are articulated so this is about the movement you're going to get out of them. All right, and here we have the last action figure, Gundam Wing. Off the bat, um, I feel like he's got better proportions than Exia, so that's good. His head doesn't look super tiny compared to the body. And accessories, you do get actually quite a lot. This is everything that this guy comes with. Now you get an additional pair of Zaku legs because you need to buy, I think, three or four kits and you get a free zaku so two legs pretty cool and you get a shield beam rifle and a beam saber i really really do not like this like this is gross um i don't know i'm not a fan of this at all i kind of wish they would have used clear plastic but then again that might have up the cost of this kit so i can understand again this is like a 12 dollar kit why do i keep calling this kit action figure you are a toy um so yeah i get i'm just nitpicking but yeah this is pretty hideous and that's the accessories that you get with this guy his backpack does not come off this stays attached unless i'm doing something wrong but yes um you cannot take the backpack off this guy unfortunately
if i'm wrong let me know in the comments but i tried to and it's not budging so i take that as a no now let's take a look at the articulation of this guy so for the head he can look up a lot more look down and also of course do a full 360 all the way around for the shoulders he can go up down four well a slight four just very very small amount the arm can do a 90 degree bend and the hand again is a ball joint so a full 360. for the waist he can do a full 360 and again these skirt armors they like the softer plastic but they don't really move at the leg he's got a 90 degree bend he can kick out about that far kick back about that far and for the feet it's on another ball joint so you have a decent amount of articulation there and that is it in terms oh almost forgot the backpack aka wings they can come in let me zoom out a little bit they can come in like that go out and that's it <laughs> again very minimal articulation but again it's an action figure you can't expect a lot so that's it for him you can attach his shield in these little holes that come in on his forearm i can get in here and you can just insert his little gun right there and bam there he is all right now let's now that I've shown you guys the kits up in personal, let's take a look at size comparisons. All right, so let's take a look at the size comparison. Put it right there. So there is a high grade RX-78 II. As you can guys can see, these are a little bit smaller than your standard high grade. And next to a master grade Azaku. Let me adjust the camera just a smidge. So yeah, these guys are kind of on the tinier side as you can see, but overall, not something super tiny. They are a, a decent size. Now, unfortunately, with some of these kits, I'm finding that it's really hard to pose them other than this like kind of static, just fixed position due to the lack of articulation that they have. So you're really not going to be able to kind of like put these guys in a nice pose compared to your standard model kits again due to the lack of articulation. Also now that I'm you know looking at this guy better um, there is some surface details you guys can see um, on his legs and things like that so there that is a nice added touch that you know they did mold this with surface detail but on the downside the head looks just atrocious i really despise that head and there's so much white you know on here it would have been nice for there to be color separation now i know i know this is just a 12 dollar toy but i am comparing it to your high grade you know because it's the only thing i have to compare this to i don't you know often play with action figures so i'm going to treat this like it was a high grade so those are really all my only nitpicks other than that i think this this thing is pretty good for what you get actually really amazing for the price that you're paying so if you're looking to get these guys to kind of pose them and put them on your shelf i want to tell you that's a hard pass really you're not going to be getting much more than what you're seeing here in terms of posability which is very very minimal and i do wonder that you know could you panel line those panel lines on there i don't know this type of plastic if it would handle that honestly i don't see why not i mean you could take a pencil and i think that would make this these action figures look a lot nicer with some added detail to those panel lines i think it would really make the toy pop aside from the ugly head that i mentioned earlier i really don't do not like these heads is that i like that the surface on this is not glossy if that makes any sense like some toys are very have a plasticky look to them and i don't like that and i'm really fond that these the this these toys have a matte finish to them i think that kind of looks really good i really like that and what's even cool is that you can swap all the parts on these i'll show you what i mean in a second this is what i meant you can literally create your own gundam which is really awesome it kind of reminds me of like the gundam build fighters so you can mix and match different parts create your own thing i think that's really cool a very awesome idea that they made all these parts swappable so you really can create your own design and i think that's a really cool feature to have on these action 
action figures, action toys, you know, because I really think that, you know, kids would love that to be able to create their own, their own version of what they think is best. Get a thumbs up from me. All right, so final thoughts on these guys. In conclusion, I actually really like them. At first, when I saw them, I was like, I'm not gonna like these stuff. This really isn't, um, I'm not the target audience. I'm not gonna like it, but I actually really ended up liking them. Now, obviously, do I prefer building Gumpla? Of course, Gumpla is more of my line. I like sitting there for hours and putting parts together. You won't get that with these, but they're still, they're still pretty cool. Like they're pretty articulated for what you get. They're really affordable. And I think they're a great option for kids to kind of get into the Gundam franchise because, you know, you can't give a child a Gumpla kit because they're just gonna destroy it, right? I mean, I'm talking about younger, you know, obviously like a teenager can handle building a kid and even maybe like a um, nine-year-old. I'm not around kids that often, but that's what I speculate. I wouldn't give a five-year-old a, a Gumpla kit. I don't know how that would work out. Maybe I'm wrong, who knows? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed me reviewing these little action figures. Let me know if you would like me to, to get more of them and I can show you guys on the channel. Just let me know in the comments if this is something that you guys are interested in or should I just stick to complicates? Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys around for the next one. And as always, I want to give a big special thank you to all the people that support me over my Patreon and a special thank you to all my ultimate fans who are Black Mask, Chris Wright, David Sikora, Ellen Cate Lopez, Hassan Baz, Jameson Willis, Jesse Uli, Madi, Michael Lyons, Michael Lawrence, and Oscar. Thank you guys so much for all the support.